Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the master of puppets today looking at another beer that was sent to me from Andre in the UK in that beer mail with lots of UK goodies and this one is one I'm looking forward to because a lot of you peeps who saw the unboxing said it's a good one so today guys we're going to be looking at none other than the Cloudwater spring and summer release series IPA Citra 6.5% Citra IPA so it's an extremely fruity, juicy, hoppy IPA featuring the 2015 harvest of citra and fruity esters from the Vermont Ale Yeast. Yes, please. Uh, they use, again, Pilgrim Alpha CO2 extract for bittering, 6.5%, and the hops are citra, but also Nelson Solvin. So that's, that's an awesome hop. Small bill, fairly simple, Golden Promise, Dextrose, and then also some uh, extra Pimaris Otter. And then that Vermont ale yeast. It's interesting that it says allergens, gluten, wheat, and barley as if this had wheat, but it doesn't have wheat according to the malt. So I don't think Golden Prom is a wheat malt. So yeah, I'm maybe I'm mistaken. This is also a slightly older bottle. This was bottled in February, late February too, so it's about two and a half months old now. But the session bitter held up fairly well, so hopefully this will do too. And this looks nice. Nice, hazy, not as turbid as uh, it's, I mean, it's very close to these New England beers, New England beers, but it's not as turbid, not as much head either. It's like a very bubbly white head on it. Nice orange color. Let's check out the aroma on it. Uh, yeah, it's suffering a little bit from the age, but damn, it's definitely smelling juicy. Yeah, it, it's not as popping on the aroma. I'm getting citra, and there's that uh, gooseberry note from the Nelson Solvin. It almost as if the Nelson Solvin pops more than the citra, because that gooseberry white wine, yes, uh, some of your own blanc wine must or wine grape is really prominent. But you also get some of the citra. There is a little bit of undertones of tropical fruit, sweet citrus, but yeah, Nelson is definitely the dominant one now. There's not really any trace of the malt still, but. There is a little bit of a sweeter malt character, maybe a little bit of breadiness, but it's mostly Nelson hops, which smells really nice still. But you can smell that it's not super fresh, but hey, that's how it goes. Still smells really nice, so let's give it a taste. Thanks a ton, Andre, for this one as well. That's got a really fucking nice mouthfeel. Yeah, uh, it is definitely Nelson that dominates now. Wow, I'm digging on this mouthfeel. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, this is very similar to the New England mouthfeel. It's got that slight chewiness. It's not as full, but it's damn close. This is also a little colder than I'd usually have my... New England type IPA, but it's got that kind of medium, silky, chewy mouthfeel going on. Really nice, but not as full and silky as some of the ones I've had, or uh, me and the Duke had. Mm. I keep drinking and just talking about my favorite flavors. Nelson dominates, dominates for sure. That white grape-esque flavor, that kind of uh, gooseberry, uh, Sauvignon Blanc really dominates. There is some citra, but um, I think Nelson is a higher alpha acid hop, so that might tend to dominate maybe with the age. That's the reason why it dominates more, because I'm not getting so much of the citra hop. There is some in, in the way of that kind of tropical fruit, passion fruit kind of thing, but it's not a, as big a punch ball of juicy fruit, which is probably because of the age. Uh, it's more the Nelson, you know, characteristic gooseberry, uh, white wine-esque flavors that dominate. There's a little bit of biscuit, biscuity bready malt, but man, I would love to try a fresh bottle of this because this really has potential. Mm. As it is right now, with the two and a half, three months of age, it's still a really nice beer. It's got a nice sweet hop profile. I'm gonna go straight up 90. I really like it, but and it's dead on for what it is, but I imagine this is fucking amazing fresh because it's got a really nice New England type profile. You're getting a little bit of that bubblegummy, 
stone fruit estery flavor or just a very bright fruity ester from the yeast it's the revolution of the ipa again guys it's changing ever changing that's one of the cool things about beer styles keep evolving and now the cool not just cool but a thing you never expected in ipa we got it now with these big juice bombs and whatnot i mean this looks like fucking orange juice but it's, it's still a very nice ipa so thanks a ton to andre again for this one you simply rule my friend and as always remember to comment subscribe check out the facebook fan page and twitter and instagram let me know what you think of this bad boy and i'm gonna say cheers see you guys in another beer reveal